Hey, what goes on guys? We're back here again with another review and today we are finally 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 going to be taking a look at the masters of the universe revelations masterverse wave 2 by mattel now it's been a while since wave 1 came out and there were a crap ton of those everywhere like he-man and skeletor and most and in and, and most cases moss man and evil n and battle cat and skelegod they're pretty much everywhere all the time so to finally have some new releases and new characters on the shelf it is a very good day in the toy universe now these have been out for kind of a little bit but kind of not their just their distribution has been pretty crappy um and i haven't really gotten lucky and came across them i've been looking non-stop for them if you've watched prior videos i've been bitching and complaining about not being able to find them but i went to one walmart today that i was even debating on going on at all but i went in i found them and they were sitting right there a fresh case now i skipped tila because i'm gonna just wait for the comic or comic the classic version of her i don't really care about the new modern one so i'm just gonna go ahead and wait for that but in the meantime i saw these three there had to pick them up wave three is starting to hit walmarts too so i'm definitely still gonna be looking for those and i want that whole wave because i did not get the comic-con exclusive uh uh scare glow so Definitely going to try to track those down, but for right now, this is lovely, and I'm so happy to have these guys. Um, we're going to be taking a look at all of them today, just in one video to save your time. On the side, you can see it says Beast Man, Savage Henchman, Man at Arms, Heroic Master of Weapons, and Spike Corps, Untouchable Master of Evil Combat pretty sick on the back i absolutely love this artwork i wish that they would like release like a giant poster of everybody on there so here's looking at beast man's you get him like awesome nice really good artwork there is the read up if you're looking for that and then same artwork on the back here just actually no it's a little bit different yeah it's definitely different but still same style looks great and then on the bottom here you can see the barcode if you're looking for beast man on the front here we got man at arms and it says man at arms here is his read up again that artwork looks so sick i love the beard looks so good the artwork oh man really really like this artwork top says masterverse there is his barcode if you are looking for it and then finally we have spike core which his artwork looks just as great as everybody else's there is his read up you can see the other figures in the wave which like i said i skipped that tila and then uh, here you see spike or with some different artwork that looks just as good on the top and then there is the barcode but yeah i think it's time that we finally go ahead and take these guys out of the box and take a closer look because i am incredibly excited so let's go ahead and get at it so taking these guys out of the box they are a lot of fun there's a lot of reuse which is pretty much standard for this line but beast man is completely new and the reuse that is here is clouded enough to the point where you don't really realize that it's really reuse until you take a closer look one thing i want to mention before we take a closer look at these guys is when you're if you're like me and you like to keep the box um uh, you boxes are your figures or at least try to i like to try to keep these ones um i suggest opening from the side because the bottom like the side clasps and it holds better um if you open it from the bottom it really doesn't tab in so it's very it could be very frustrating because what i'd like to do is take the boxes and since i like the art so much on the boxes like maybe line them all up in the back of the display eventually and just have all the artwork on there i don't know how big the display would be or need to be in order to do that with all these characters but you know just some ideal thinking but yeah FYI, I would just open them from the side. It'll make things a little bit easier um, if you're trying to keep your boxes nice. But with that being said, I think I'm going to go ahead and start with Spike War. Um, you know, you'll probably, I'll do at the end of my thoughts on each one individually and then, you know, my least favorite. But we'll start with Spike War and taking a look at him close up. I really, really like his head. At first, when I first saw the images of it, I wasn't really sure if I would like him. Um, he kind of looked ugly and not in like the way that I think he should look. So I'm happy to say that he does look better. All the, the teeth are sculpted 
and the spikes are all, you know, done very nicely. So I like the way that that looks and going down into the body. You know, he's he's spike or so he's got to be spiky. Um, This is a separate piece, though, which you could take off. I'm not going to take it off all the way because I don't want it to um, mess up the way that it looks on the body because it is really nice on there. You do get reuse of the He-Man arms, like I said. Um, they're purple this time around, though, because Spike Or is purple. I'm surprised that they made him and that they did him so early in the way in the series because, I mean, he was in the show for, what, like a minute or two? Like, I barely remember him in the show. Uh, I'm not complaining. I'll take literally any Motu character that they'll make, but just interesting that they made him. You get the same loincloth as He-Man, same belt, but this is, like, done in a bright magenta. Um, and then going down into the boots, you do get, like, a nice, like, overspray of, like, blue, which I think is on the loincloth, too. Just a lot lighter than it is on the boots. So, yeah, it looks great. The back is awesome. I do have one of his, his accessories on right now. You do have, like, the spike like try thing which is a callback to the vintage figure um but this just sparks like an interchangeable hand so you can pop that off and whatnot uh these bracers are new because they are spiky unlike he-mans which are just round so these like bracelets they are new um the torso the torso it's just an overlay piece so the torso is not new but the overlay piece is new so the only real new things on this guy are the accessory that he comes with this the head and the overlay but everything else is just reused but i'll talk about why i think that's okay at the end of the video so yeah spike or looks really really nice i'm gonna go ahead and do man at arms next because man at arms is one of my favorite characters in the entire show and this figure turned out awesome that head sculpt looks so sick I love the big mustache. I would have liked to see if they did like a little bit of a a wash to like reminisce of like a five o'clock shadow kind of thing. But honestly, this works too. This might be like the younger version of him. Uh, again, pretty much all reuse for this guy, but that doesn't really bother me. You do get a whole new, like a bunch of new overlays. So makes his arm look brand new. That looks super sick. He does get new hands as well because on the one side of his hands, he has like that plate on top of it which go through all of the other hands or the other uh, left hands which is awesome but yeah you get this new overlay piece which this is a piece and this is a piece and then the torso is also a piece and the leg is as well um i love the sculpt and the paint i love the trim around it you do get a darker green around like the furry part of the chest piece the chest piece looks so sick um very reminiscent of a classic classic uh, man at arms which i really like you do get the same belt but it is painted differently so you get like the red part in there that calls back to the elbow here and then moving down i love the paint on the boots here you get like a nice dry rush over like the wraps which looks really good you do get it on the other side too but you do get the overlay piece that matches the body so yeah i think he looks you do get i think you do get new bracers for him too they're a little bit different like two different bracelets but um i'll bring he-man down for a comparison because i do have he-man with me here but yeah, he, the, the metallic blue paint on the helmet looks so nice. I really, really like the Man-at-Arms figure. I think he's turned out really good. Um, and unlike the Spike War, which had a little bit of color variation in the knee, you don't really see it at Man-at-Arms at all. So I like that a lot. It looks really, really nice. And it definitely like suits the character. Like For my mental image of Man-at-Arms, this is, this is what I like to think of. So... I think he turned out really, really nice. But finally, let's go ahead and take a look at Beast Man because he is the most new. Um, he looks kind of like an orc from World of Warcraft. War, uh, World of Warcraft. Wow. Um, World of Warcraft. There it is. Couldn't get it out. But <laughs> um, I'm not editing that out neither. Y'all can make fun of me in the comments for it. But this head looks just like one of the orcs from that. And... I don't think that's a problem at all. You get really good paint in there. I mean, you get the blue around the eyes, the white lines going over the eyes, the wraps on the beard, the tri-beard <laughs> are all painted nice, and then the spikes on his head are painted, and his teeth are painted, so there's a lot of paint on the head. There's a lot. There's more paint on the head than some Marvel Legends as a whole, <laughs> but um, shots fired. But you get the back with like the nice... This is a separate piece. Um, I think I could be wrong, but this might be the body that they're going to be using for Spike or, or not Spike or, um, Stink or, 
but I'm not sure. I didn't get Stinkor yet. Still going to be looking for him. On the body here, it's a buffer body, which I like. I mean, obviously, Beast Man needs to be huskier. Um, it'll show better with the He-Man because He-Man doesn't have any overlays, unlike Man-at-Arms and Spike Or, but the fur sculpt on the whole thing is fantastic. Now, the hands, the wraps look good, and the fur painted on the back is good. There's a slight color variation in the joints for the knees and the elbows, but not, not enough to bother me, but the nails are all painted on all the hands, which is fantastic. But I think the hands are a little big. I, I actually don't think they're big because I looked at stills from the show just to see. And the hands are big. He has big hands. I mean, he's Beast Man. But I think the problem is that they narrowed it out at the wrist significantly. Like, if I was to take this out and push it, like, here. Like, kind of angle it like that. Like, that looks better. But since it comes out to there... It like kind of thins out. Like if it was to just plug in like that, I think that'd look a lot better. But that might just be what throwing what's throwing me off. But personally, I like bigger hands on big beefy guys like this, so that doesn't bother me at all. Um, I just thought I'd mention it because I'm sure somebody's gonna say something about it. You get the loop here that you can attach his whip onto, which I'll show later on in the accessory section. But you do get the belt, the giant loincloth that goes a lot further down. You get these two X's that are painted on the belt. So that looks really nice. And like I said, the first sculpt just is so nice on this guy. Um, you get the wraps at the ankles here. And then a nice paint variation, like shading on the back of the calves. That I really, really like. And then he's got like the hobbit type feet with like the fur on the top. And his tootsies are painted. So he just got his nails done. But I really, really like the way that Beastman looks too. He does have like this arch on his back, which is accurate for the character. I mean, he's one of those like lunging forward type characters. I usually like to have him looking up and then hunched over like this personally. But I mean, if you want to straighten him out, you can also do that too. He's just, his head's not on the top of his head. It's more forward as a savage character like him would have. So really like the way that this guy looks as well. I think they all look fantastic, but they do come with a good amount of accessories as well. So let's go ahead and take a look at those. So, like I said, they do come with a bunch of accessories. So starting off with Spiker, we're going the same order. He comes with his weapon, which is also reminiscent of the vintage figure. And he does hold this well. Um, he also comes with two grip hands and two fist hands. Love that each figure comes with a pair of fist hands. Um, you can put it in either one, but I think it works better in the right hand because... The vintage figure had the spiky accessory on the left side and that's how the box shows it too so i suggest putting if you want to use this accessory put it in the right hand but you put that in and he holds it well and you know no vertical hinge though which i mean is an articulation thing but you know not that big a deal and he does hold it so if you want to have your spike or all amped up and like I said, for the spike accessory, you just pop it out like a hand, pop the hand back in, and then boom, you get spike or all lined up and ready to go, which looks super cool. This is probably how I'm going to have him displayed. I'm not sure if I'm going to use the spiky thing, to be honest, but whatever. Man at Arms, of course, comes with his signature mallet. I don't know if this has like a particular name. Let me know in the comments if it does. And just like spike or he holds it very well. Um, and I like the way that this looks. Let me go ahead and get this to focus for you guys. And I really like the way that this looks too. I think it works really good for Man-at-Arms. And it brings contrast, like symmetry. Like all the orange is on the, on the left side of him. So when you get this weapon on him, you know, it brings more of that goldy orange on the other side, which balances him out a little bit more. And he does come with gripping hands for each side and as they as i said they do have like the gold plating on there fist hands on each side and splayed out hands on each side so great amount of hands and accessories for this guy here and then finally the main man beast man um you get him you get his whip which i didn't realize was actually going to be cloth so that's pretty awesome it is a, a cloth whip which he does hold well just kind of got a weave it into his hand it's a little tight but it's fine and then put the thing over his knuckles and he holds it very well and i saw an image where it like a promotional image where they wrapped it around so if you don't want the whip like kind of just out you can wrap it around and these whoops and these little tab things that are up will hold it 
um, like in place, like you kind of plug it in there. I got to do it a little bit better, but like they'll hold it in place so you can kind of have it wrapped. Um, let me see if I can do that better, but which I thought was an interesting thing. I mean, if it was a bendy wire, I think that'd be pretty cool. I mean, like I'm not super upset that it's not a bendy wire because I, I can understand that that would be pretty expensive, but it would have been cool. Um, would have been good for posing and stop motion and things like that. But the fact that it's cloth is definitely good enough for me. But yeah, like I said, you can kind of, I had it earlier, but anyway, you guys could do it better than I could. But you could wrap it around and plug it into these little tabs and it'll hold it. Um, so if you don't want the whole whip out. And then just like his two prior counterparts, he does come with a good sleigh of hands. He comes with two wide open clawing hands, a pair of fists. And a pair of gripping hands so you can have it on either side so yeah definitely a good array of accessories for these guys which i think is appropriate considering that a lot of them other than beast man are almost entirely reuse with just add-on parts so the fact that they do load us up with accessories is awesome mattel mattel has their issues but honestly i think one thing that they never really slack on is the price point to value kind of thing um, not only do I love that they give pinless joints all the time, but they always load you up with a butt ton of accessories. So I think it's more than fair um, what they're doing. So I really, really like this. But I'm going to go ahead and show you the articulation on these guys because it kind of varies between them. But we'll talk about that in a second. So as promised, the articulation is probably going to be very similar to what you guys know it as. You know, the head for Spike Wars is going to look up that far. He's going to look down that much, rotate, I'm going to take him out of frame, and him out of frame just for focusing purposes, and it will rotate. The diaphragm joint is not really impeded from what it was before. The diaphragm joint really didn't work too well on He-Man before, so it's fine. The shoulders move up. You do get a waist swivel just real quick. Rotate 360 over there, bicep swivel, double jointed pinless elbows, and then all the hinge hinge horizontally none vertically which is my biggest issue except for the spike accessory which just swivels the hips move out that far he will kick forward that far back not so much upper thigh cut double jointed pinless knees that go that far which is great you do get a rotation at the top of the boot which is hidden very well so i like that and the ankles move down they move up a little bit and he does have ankle pivot so these guys stand really easy which I like that. Like, I don't have to fight them to stand. So that's pretty cool. Man at arms from the legs down. From the, I'm just going to show from, like, this knee. That doesn't really sh impede anything. This elbow doesn't really impede much. I mean, it gets in the way a little bit, but it's honestly not enough to really cause an issue. Same with the shoulder. Since they are overlay pieces, you just kind of got to overlap it on there. It'll still rotate. And his diaphragm joint is not impeded at all, neither. So nothing crazy there. But the big one that we should take a look at is Beast Man, considering that he is a completely new sculpt. So his head is going to look up that far and he's going to look down that far you do get like a you can rotate it but it's kind of goes up and down because he lunges forward so you, to get it um to look side to side you kind of got to pivot but you know that's the nature of the character the shoulders are going to move up into a t-pose rotate 360 i like how far down you can get arms on these figures without like making this the cutout super big i don't know how they do that but i really like it uh bicep swivel double jointed pinless elbows that work beautifully and then all the wrists swivel and hinge horizontally would have liked the vertical hinge on the weapon holding hands but not that big a deal his diaphragm joint works actually pretty good it's slight rotation but i would use the waist as the rotation which you do get a full waist 360 um and then pivots he can crunch forward pretty good, which is awesome because he lunges and then arcs back. You can get him pretty much just straight up. So that's perfectly fine by me. His hips are going to do pretty much the splits. He'll kick forward that far. Back, not so much. You do get an upper thigh cut. Double jointed pinless knees that go in that far, depending on how you have the fur on the back of his calf. You do get a rotation at the calf, which I kind of wish wasn't there. It's a little gappy. It, it works for the ones with the boots because you can't see it, but it's just kind of like a cut, and my my right side's really gappy, but not that big a deal. Ankles move down. They move up all the way, and you do get a beautiful ankle pivot on these guys. So, yeah, I I think the Beastman articulation is pretty awesome. I think the only thing that I would have liked um, is a vertical hinge on the on the hands and sub that for the calf rotation because i really don't care about that but let's go ahead and take a look at final thoughts on these guys 
So here the, they are next to He-Man before we get into final thoughts. Um, and they, they look great. I mean, they like I said, there's a lot of reuse here. And, you know, obviously He-Man looks a little bit taller. I think it's just because his head sits a little too high. Beast Man is crouched. So you got to kind of move him. You know, if you have him standing straight up, he is taller than everybody else. Not by much, but he, he is taller. Um, but I like to have him kind of crouched. Um, you know, as Evelyn's lackey. Unfortunately, I don't have Evelyn, Skeletor, or Moss Man here to compare. I do have Battle Cat up there, but I don't really think Battle Cat is super necessary to compare to at the moment. But yeah, I think they look great next to He Man. I love seeing Man in Arms and He Man together. That looks sick. Um, I can't wait to get Beast Man with Evelyn. Spike Wars is kind of be gonna be there. Uh, he was barely in the show, really didn't have a significant part, so. Eh, I think they look good next to He-Man, and I took some awesome pictures with He-Man and Man-at-Arms fighting these two goons. So, really like the way that they look together, because while it is reuse, and while I think reuse is okay for this line, because if you don't know, Masters of the Universe was kind of created to make toys, so the body molds were always reused. So, honestly, I don't see really a big issue in the reuse on these guys. You can barely tell that it's reuse, at least on my end. Um... I mean, obviously, if you look, the parts are the same, like the boots and, you know, whatever, but that formula works. And if it works, then why try to, you know, ruin that? I, obviously, would I like individual sculpts for each character? Yeah, but I understand that that's not something that's completely plausible all the time. So not everybody's McFarland. So I like the way that this looks, but let's go ahead and look at final thoughts. So it's that time in the video where I know you guys are asking yourself, yo, and what are you thinking of these figs? And I don't think it's any surprise, ladies and gentlemen, this is a great set of figures. I don't mind the reuse. I think that this body mold for the He-Man was good to begin with. Um, is it perfect? No. Would I like more head articulation, vertical hinges on the hands, and a better diaphragm joint? Absolutely. But the fact that those aren't there does not bother me, especially when it provides great reuse on these guys. Because He-Man lacked a little bit in paint, but I think that was because it was the first wave. Now these guys here have tons of paint and tons of new sculpting. Obviously, not completely new molds for each of them we can't all be mcfarland ladies and gentlemen but these are awesome and i think for what they are you can barely tell that they're reuse and it's just getting new characters on the shelf i have wanted a line of six or seven inch scale super articulated masters of the universe figures forever because while I think the Origins line is awesome, that's before my time. I know He-Man is more of like a comic book character in a sense of like, you know, he fought Thor and he was in the Marvel Universe for a little bit. Um, and I knew that was my introduction to He-Man. And then obviously I went back and watched the original show. Um, I never watched that like 2003 series, uh, He-Man at Planet X or something like that. I forget what it was called. Uh, if you know what I'm talking about, leave it in the comments below. Um... I never watched that. And then when Revelations came out, that was like the perfect He-Man show for me. Was the show perfect? No, but I enjoyed it. And I'm excited for season two. And I think we're going to see a bunch of new characters. Personally, if I could pick anybody that hasn't been revealed yet to be made, I would love to see either see the Sorceress or Whiplash. Because Whiplash was in the show more than Spike Gore, but they didn't even make... I, I think it's because he has a tail. But if they did him with like a bendy tail, like they did with the Jurassic Park line the hammer collection that'd be so awesome but i would like to see a whiplash let me know what you guys would like to see from this line um whether they were in the show or not um i don't really care i, I would take any character that they want to make um i hope they go in deep with it as they did with the origins line that'd be super awesome my wallet would hate it but i would love it but i think i'm gonna go ahead and rate all these individually and then i'll give you my ranking but well when i rate them that'll be my ranking um Spike Or, I'll give an 8 out of 10. Man in Arms gets a 9 out of 10. And Beast Man, I would say, gets a 9 out of 10. So, personally, Spike Or is my least favorite out of the three. He's a good figure. He just was barely in the show, and I don't really care about Spike Or too much. My second favorite is Beast Man, believe it or not. Um, even though he's a new sculpt, I, I'm not a huge fan of Beast Man. He's just a simp for uh, Evil Inn. I mean, Beastman's cool, don't get me wrong, and the design's great, but Man-at-Arms is where the money's at. He's probably my favorite MOTU character as a whole, especially I like the way that they handled him in uh, Revelations. Again, that's a personal thing, but I, I love, and, and dude, you put an awesome 70s mustache on somebody, 
and I'm all in. But yeah, these figures are awesome. But with that being said, I believe that's all I have to say today. So do yourself and me a favor and go ahead and subscribe to the channel. If you have not already, please be sure to like, comment, subscribe. I do reply to every comment. That is left on my videos. I check every day and every night and I reply to everybody. So guys, if you want to chat, let's chat. I reply to everybody. So say something in the comments, guys. We are doing a giveaway at 300 subscribers, which we are very, very close. We are less than 50 away. So please get me there um, and I will give back to you guys. I have a couple ideas. I am actually going to do the poll probably later this week. Um, I have three figures in mind. I will let you guys pick and we will do a giveaway. But I think that is all I have for today. So follow me on Instagram at Zach Toys to see some awesome pictures of these guys. And let me know. You copping? You copping any of these guys? Let me know, guys. I will see you guys in the next video. Peace.